In this video, I'll show you how to create a product inquiry form in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our store page and instead of showing the default add to cart button, instead we can see the send us your inquiry button. If you want it as well, you could display the add to cart button and also this send us your inquiry button. So users can check out as normal or if they want that custom pricing, they can go ahead and send you a inquiry about a particular product. But with our current setup here, we're only showing the inquiry button, meaning the user can add multiple products to their inquiry basket. And then once they're finished, they can just go ahead and click view quote or they can click on this quote basket here so i'm just going to click view quote here you can see i've added a few different products to our quote basket so i've added this product here this variable product so as you can see i've selected the color blue that i'm interested in and i've specified that i'd also like to include a logo with this particular product and then we've got a few simple products here we can change the product quantity so we can let the site owner know that we're interested in buying 10 units of this particular product so you can customize the field on the back end and you can also allow your users to upload a particular attachment with their inquiry form. Okay, so let's just enter in our company name. Okay, so now let's submit this quote. Okay, so it said our quote's been submitted successfully. So now when we view the back end, we'll be able to see this particular quote that I've just submitted. Okay, so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WooCommerce Request the Quote plugin by WooSuite. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard and I'll show you exactly how to set this up. I'll leave the link in the description below. So let's navigate back over to our dashboard. Okay, so now the second step is to go ahead and upload and install the plugin in which you just downloaded. So you just navigate to Plugins, Add New, Go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. Activate your license key, and then from the add-ons menu, just go ahead and enable the request the quote plugin. So the third step now is to go ahead and configure our product inquiry form. So let's navigate to request the quote. Okay, so on this page, we'll go ahead and create our first rule. Since I've already created one here, I'm just gonna go ahead and edit it. But in your case, you'll just click add new rule and then it'll take you to this particular page, which I'll show you now. Okay, so now we're gonna give this rule a name and this is just for internal purposes only. So I've just named mine inquiry form for all products. Just name it something meaningful. So if you've got multiple different rules running, you know exactly what each rule is doing. Okay, so when we scroll down to a rule type, we've got two options. So we can enable this quote rule for guest users which are users logged out of our site or we can enable it for registered users so I'm going to select registered users in my case and then for the rule priority you just want to give it a priority from 1 to 10 1 being the lowest so let's say for example if I've got two rules on a system targeting the exact same user the rule with the highest priority will run so here we'll just go ahead and select the particular user role that we want to show this rule to in my case I've selected admin and I've done that for testing purposes since I've logged in as admin and also for our wholesale customers as well. Okay, so here we've got a few options. I'm gonna untick where it says applies to all product because we actually got three ways in which we can apply this rule to our products. So one being we can just run this rule for all products to these particular user groups, or we can specify a specific product. So you just go ahead and enter in a product name here. Once you start typing, it will display the product as well. And you can add multiple different products here. Then the third option is we can enable this rule by a specific category. So we can say we wanna run this rule for all products within our desserts category, okay? But in my case, I'm just gonna enable it for all products for now. Okay, so now we'll navigate down to where it says hide price. So we can choose whether we wanna hide the price or not. So if I select no, then the price will just display as it normally does, or we can hide the price. And then it will show us this extra field, which says high price text. Instead of showing a price, we can show a specific text, like we could say the price is hidden, something meaningful to your customers. Or you can leave it blank, meaning it won't display anything. So in my case, I'm just gonna leave it blank because I just wanna show an inquiry button instead. Okay, so now where it says hide add to cart button, so we've got a few options here. So we can replace our add to cart with a quote button, which is what we're doing currently, or we can keep the add to cart button and we can display our product inquiry button as well, or we can replace the add to cart button with a custom button, 
or finally we can key the add to cart button and display a custom button so in my case i'm just going to select replace add to cart with a quote button and then for the custom button label i've just set mine to send us your inquiry and then once we finish here we just go ahead and hit publish in my case it's update okay so now when we navigate to our shop page we can see this product inquiry button here it's the same on a product page as well so we can enter in the quantity that we're interested in and then just go ahead and hit send us your quote and it will automatically add it to our quote basket here okay so let's view our quote basket and now i'm going to show you how to add some custom fields to your quote basket so by default all it will show is um, the name field email field and the message field but we can go ahead and customize this a bit more so i'm going to navigate back over to our dashboard and now we'll customize our custom inquiry form so we'll go we suite request the quote okay and now we'll navigate to settings okay so to customize our product inquiry form fields we're going to navigate to field settings here and then here you can see a few default fields so we've got the name email company phone file upload and also the message field and then we can add some additional custom fields down here as well so let's say for example if we wanted to enable this company field so we just go ahead and tick this option here enable company field and then we'll just want to give it a name so where it says label we just want to give it a name and we can also sort the order as well so we can rearrange the order so let's say for example if you wanted this to show in the number one position and we could say number one here and then we can reorder the others as well okay so we can say number two three okay and i'm going to leave it there for now and then let's just enable a custom um, field from down here as well okay so i've already enabled one so we just go ahead and enable this checkbox here give it a name and then we'll just hit save changes okay so now let's have a look at our quote basket again okay so now that we've refreshed the page you can now see that this customer size field is showing in the number one position and then we've got the other field showing exactly as how we reordered them. And that's how you add a WooCommerce product inquiry form in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.